today I'm going to show you the contents of the PME airbrush and compressor kit. First of all we have the operating instruction manual. We have the compressor with the on off switch. We have the 12 volt AC adapter available in UK, EU and US power cables. We have 1.5 meter of flexible hose and we have the airbrush holder which fits into the recess in the compressor. We have our single gravity feed airbrush. This is available in its protective packaging and we also have the pet and the wrench inside the packaging as well. This concludes the contents of the PME airbrush and compressor kit. First of all, if we start with the compressor, I'm just going to turn that over so that you can see four rubber feet on the underside. Make sure that these are secured into the compressor. This will help maintain its steadiness on the work surface. If I just turn it to the side, you'll be able to see a recess here for the power plug, the valve and also the adapter for the hose. I'm just going to turn that back round again and now we're going to attach the hose onto the section. So just line that up and twist that into position. Twist until it won't be able to tighten any further, like so. And next we're going to, into the recess, we're just going to add in the holder for the airbrush. Onto here I've just put a little bit of release agent to make sure that this pushes into the recess easily. And then we're able to attach the airbrush onto the other end of the hose. So just give that a little twist to begin. Once that's in position, again just twist until that's secure. Now this can go into the holder, like so, and then we're ready to insert the power plug into the recess. And that concludes how to put together the airbrush and compressor kit. First of all, if we look at the airbrush, this is a single action gravity feed airbrush, which means it has a single action lever to control the airflow and a cup to feed the colour to the needle. First of all, let's add some colour into the airbrush. So I'm just going to remove the lid and I'm going to add in a few drops of colour, like so. Make sure that you replace the lid securely onto the top of the cup before you attempt to use the airbrush. So I'm actually going to switch the airbrush on and then I'm going to vary the distance from my work and also vary the pull on the lever to control the airflow. It's a good idea to practice on a piece of paper towel or card before you actually begin work on your cake. So I'm going to switch it on at the button and I'm going to pull the lever back. This helps build up my colour and just by using more pull you can see I've increased the colour that's on my kitchen paper and then again a little bit more pull gives me a thicker line and a little bit more pull again and I get a much wider line. I can also go in close and I can create lettering by doing this and a fine line by building up using a soft line I can infill the colour just by toing and throwing. So now I'm going to clean out my airbrush by removing the lid. Make sure that you remove any excess colour into the pot so just tip that out and make sure that you use lukewarm water to then add this into the well, give this a rinse round and again remove that into a small bowl. Again add in some lukewarm water. You can use a tapered brush just to get into the fine detail area to very gently clean out around the well. And again remove that, add 
in some lukewarm water, not too much. Add the lid back on and now into some paper towel, switch the airbrush on until you get clear liquid coming through. You can see that's clear now, so this means that it's clean. And just replace that back into the holder. And that's how to use the PME airbrush and compressor.